Coach, they had a lot of explosive plays early on. When you're practicing, how is it even possible to emulate the type of speed that, that they put out there? Yeah, you can't. I mean, it's one of those things, you know, you harp on it and you, you, know, you tell the kids that, hey, it's going to take us a little bit of time to, um, to, to get back, you know, get that speed up. But, uh, you know, we, we were prepared, X's and O's wise. We, we felt very good going into the game. It's just, uh, again, the X and O's, Jimmy's and the Joe's, and you know, he got some pretty good ones. Uh, they have a pretty good Jimmy and Joe at quarterback in, in Saunders, uh, who's headed to Kentucky. What did you think of his performance? Yeah, he was sling a ball. You know, like I said I, I equated him, you know, watch Chad Henney throw back in, and um, when I had a chance to coach him in an all star game, and the first time I saw this kid throw uh, last week live, I thought, you know, it's very, very. Uh, very, very similar to, to Chad in the quick release and the velocity of the ball coming out of the, uh, coming off his arm. Uh, you had 20 seniors on the roster. Uh, what does that group mean to you? Uh, they mean a heck of a lot. You know, these are kids that we battled um, through so much adversity together. And uh, I brought them in separately from the rest of the team. And afterwards, and, you know, I said, I love, I love you guys. You know, you gave us everything you got. You bought into our program. And uh, I think they really... You know, understood what being us uh, was being us and, and, and getting back to the, the traditions that we have here at Connor Weiser and, um, you know, got a lot of real good life lessons for these kids about uh, picking each other up and battling adversity and, and how to be successful. Uh, speaking of adversity, how many starters were you down? Yeah, and uh, entering into week 12 here, we're technically down. If you count guys that play both sides of the ball, we're technically down six guys. You know, it's it's tough to play any week like that. But even you know weeks uh, uh, eight, nine, and ten, you know they got hurt in week eight. Um, you know, to, to to kind of pull off what we did here at the end of the year uh, was pretty remarkable. But hats off to the coaching staff. You know, always getting guys prepared, uh, getting guys ready. Um, you know, early games when we were up, we got a lot of guys in. We didn't run up scores on people. Gave those kids an opportunity to get better, and uh, you know that stuff pays off. Uh, from two wins last year to ten this year, that, that's remarkable turnaround. Uh, how did that happen? It's, it, I said it's not by accident. Um, it, it's a lot of hard work. It's the kids again and the coaching staff buying into um, getting back to what we do here at Connor Weiser. So. Um, you know, and again, the kids took their lumps, and uh, so you know, it, it, it's, it is pretty remarkable to get back and, and uh, win a section, you know, three title, first time in, in section three, winning the first time we're winning a, a Lancaster Lebanon League title. So, um, I told the kids, there's, you know, you, you can't remember this one. It's um, you're going to remember the good times from this season, and did some pretty remarkable things. Yeah, the, the Lancaster Lebanon League since the merger, I mean, every section has been tough. What does it mean to, to win a, a title in this league now? Oh, it's huge. I said every week you play is like a playoff game. I mean, you're, you're playing some good, uh, well-coached football teams in the next 11 league. And uh, not that we didn't have it here in Berks either, but uh, uh, I said it's almost like playing back in Section 1 when we elected to play up all those years. Um, it's, it's a playoff uh, game every week. But it prepares you. You know, It prepares you to uh, play good, hard-nosed football. Uh, last thing, what would it take for someone to be able to knock off a, a team like Bishop McDevitt? Well, again, you know, we, we had some keys in the game that we thought uh, we wanted to take advantage of. First of all, you got to believe. you got to believe you can win. And, um, you know, they're so hyped up. They have such uh, uh, talent on that side of the ball. But the kids got to, first of all, buy into the can believe them. And then you got to win the, uh, the turnover battle. you got to win the uh, field possession battle. Um, you know, a little luck doesn't hurt either. Yeah. You know, but... Uh, you gotta have some dudes. You, you gotta have some dudes. These kids are, uh, are, are very, very talented uh, kids. Well, appreciate your time, uh, not just now, but but all season. Absolutely.